the Thames at Greenwich, and the familiar lines of Gypsy Moth 4. Home is one of England's outstanding navigators, soon to be dubbed Sir Francis Chichester of the most excellent order of the British Empire. The continuity of the British maritime tradition has remained unbroken. At Brixham, this replica of Golden Hind, flagship of the earlier navigator Sir Francis Drake, he received his accolade in 1581. This replica of Golden Hind is destined for the United States and a berth at San Francisco, where Francis Drake first touched the New World. In wax and effigy beside Sir Francis Drake at Madame Tussauds, Francis Chichester takes his place. Perhaps these attentions are proving embarrassing, for he's a shy man, but now his yacht with himself, a tiny figure on the deck, merits a special issue of stamps. Michael and Sylvia Gurman designed this festal issue. The climax to an extraordinary voyage draws near. Soon Francis Chichester will receive his knighthood from Elizabeth, conferred with the very sword that once belonged to Francis Drake. Not quite 400 years gone by since Drake himself was honored thus, not far upriver at Deptford. <laughs> Lady Chichester is presented and their son Giles as the ceremony begins. Handed, having navigated the world about, this knight remains a quiet man, not entirely satisfied with himself or his performance, his feats of airmanship and sailing. Therefore, despite his frailty and years, behold an iron man, than whom England has never had a better hero.